hi guys welcome to my channel so i have been doing my research learning about nft as much as i can because i'm very curious about it i want to know how to make money how people are making money with um, pictures and artworks and every other thing possible music video even so i wanted to understand more about it after doing so much research and learning about it i'm starting to understand it so i thought I would come share my knowledge with you guys in the easiest way possible. So what is an NFT? In order to understand what an NFT is, like we first have to understand the meaning of the word itself. The NFT is not just like a random picture or a gift that people, people seem to think it's just a picture that you can basically copy and paste and that's about it but that's not the case it has to do with human psychology like how much we value things as people like how much value we put on things that's basically what nft um involved basically the nft means not fungible token don't worry i'm going to explain what that is in a minute let's start by explaining the fungible like the f of the nft the fungible basically the easiest meaning and the best way to understand it is, is replaceable that's what fungible means if you google it they're going to explain it to you and the word is going to be replaceable that means something that is replaceable so if fungible means replaceable that means not fungible means something that is not replaceable for example something that is not replaceable is the mona lisa painting i see a lot of people talking about this painting and then I wonder, I always wonder to myself, why is it so expensive? It's just basically someone painted something and it's so expensive and it's so valuable. A lot of people want it, but not <laughs> nobody can get it except for the owner who currently has it. And I always wondered why do people want to pay so much money just to get that painting? But now I'm starting to understand it. Now I understand it better because of NFT. It's because of how much value people put on that um, painting is because of how much people want it and how much they are willing to pay for it for example money money is just a piece of paper if you think about it it's just a piece of paper you could rip it and nothing will happen but because of how much value we put on money it makes it so special it makes it important in our lives it makes it, it makes us need money if for one they decide that we are not going to put value in money no one is going to care about money anymore which is very unlikely but if we did decide that no one wants to care about money anymore then money would be valueless it would have no value okay let me give you an example so i have this shoe that i love so much i love those shoes because it was my very first shoe i bought with my money and it was quite expensive I mean, to me, it was expensive. I worked very hard to save up for that shoe. And I loved it so much. And when I bought it, I was the happiest girl on the planet. I still have the shoe till now because that's how much I love it. That's how much I saved it. And then I remember also wearing that shoes on my first day before I met my husband on my first day. And he loved it as well. So that shoe means a lot to me. And we've done a lot together, me and that shoes. To me, there is no other shoes like that. I could probably go to the website and have a look and see the same shoe, the same color, everything, the same thing online, but it's not the same. Do you know why it's not the same? Because I value my shoes so much and it means a lot to me. And that shoe has been through so much with me. So there's no other shoes like that on the market. Even if someone decides to buy the exact same shoe, same color, same everything, it's not the same because it's not my shoes hopefully i'm explaining this right to you guys with that relationship that i have with the shoe how valuable it is to me i would be willing to pay like anything i possibly can in order to get that shoe back and if you did get me a new one same thing same color i would not value it because it's just another shoe it's just another shoe on the market there's multiple of them it's not the same as the original one so everything in this world is either one or the other some of them are replaceable some of them are not replaceable another example is when you go to the supermarket and you want to get a bag of rice you look at the bag of rice section you see lots of rice same bags same color same type of rice everything is the same 
you can just easily go there and grab one and then tomorrow you come back and grab another one and then the day after you come back and bro it's going to taste the same and it's going to be the same rice and that means that rice is fungible and the painting that i said earlier my shoes that i used earlier you can't get it it's not something you can just walk to the supermarket and, and get it's not the same and even if you did get the same, same shoe or try to paint the same thing the mona lisa painting try to make it look the same it's not the original copy so that is not fungible so because that that painting is not replaceable so that's what the f i mean nft means i hope i've explained it right i hope i try my best according to what i understood because it's quite difficult to understand something and trying to explain it to someone else in the easiest way possible so let's talk about the t and the nft t stands for token and i'm going to have to use an example to explain this to you so for example let's say i want to buy an orange from you and you charge me one pound for that orange when i make the payment a message is going to be sent to my bank letting them know that i want to spend a pound on your orange and for my bank to send you one pound for the orange that i got from you so their job is to minus one pound from my account and then take it and give it to you that's how the bank works they write it down how much I have spent, how much I have put it on the bank and how much I've taken out from my bank. So basically, your money or my money is just a number and I trust the bank to make sure they write it correctly and to make sure that, that they don't make any mistakes. I am putting that trust on the bank. But you need to understand that the people that work in the bank, they are only human. They're just you and I, basically. People train to work in the bank is just like you and I. The only difference is they've been trained, but they are still able to make mistakes. As the word has advanced, people started to think, like, I wonder if there's a way to send money to someone without actually needing a bank. And then that was when the blockchain came in. That was when the blockchain was created so the blockchain they basically do the same thing as the bank but they do it better so instead of keeping your money in the bank and all the transaction that goes on and the bank is completely private you don't even know what is going on and even if they made made mistake they can easily just cover it up because it's all private with the blockchain everything is public if there's any mistakes with your money or any mistake with the transaction you can easily have a look at it online because everything is public. Anyone can see it. With they can understand that. Oh yeah, this is where the mistake happened. So instead of sending one pound to John, they mistakenly send fifty p to John, and they understand that the mistake happened here. But with the banks, it's that's not the case. Sometimes you rig a bank and they made a mistake with something. They blame you for it or try to compensate you for it, but it doesn't make up from your for your mistake. That is what nft i hope i've been able to explain it to you in a way that you can understand i mean that's my understanding of it well that is it for this video that is the simplest possible way i could explain nft to an everyday person like me because i understand i understand that it's frustrating something is when when you're trying to get into it and you don't even know what what it is or how to go about it it's like when crypto first came out bitcoin first came out um I heard about it and I really, really, really wanted to know more about Bitcoin, but I kind of slept on it and I don't want to sleep on this NFT business right now because now that it's still brand new and there's not a lot of people getting into it, people are still thinking, oh, it's a scam, it's not real, don't bother doing it. Now is when it's the right time to get into it. So I'm glad you're doing your research and trying to get into it as much as I'm doing as well. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to my channel because it really helps me and it helps me make more videos like this. I'll see you on my next one. Bye.